what's going on YouTube a little cold and windy before the ice storm that's coming in it's supposed to snow tomorrow and then the ice storms coming in I think uh, maybe tomorrow night or the night after something like that so I'm just gonna get done what I can here I got some walnut to cut just some trimming off the edges and stuff like that and then I got these big silver maple pieces maybe gonna cut this sugar maple into coins for smoker wood and then I'm gonna take the Spico and I'm gonna start splitting these up then I'm gonna take the Spico and do some splitting with that clean up a bunch of the walnut clean up that maple and then we'll go from there <laughs>
Okay, so I got over half the pile done, or all the walnut anyway. I'm not even talking about the stuff in the back there. I busted up one of these bad cookies, the uh, big ones, and that's all boiler wood. I'll get the axe out and I'll finish some of these off. And I did that big silver maple as you saw, and there's more black locust which I'm holding off with for now. I didn't end up cutting this piece of sugar maple, but I'll deal with that another day. There's a couple of pieces here that I'm leaving for smoker wood. And I have a crate back there that's full of smoker wood that's dry. So I don't want to have to split this stuff up and then bring it back to the shop like I've been doing because the stuff at the shop should be dry to bag up and sell to that guy. After I sell what's in that crate over there and over at the shop. So this stuff I can probably just cut and split and then put in the crate in the back there once it's empty after the next couple orders. I got the silver maple left over. I'm not too concerned about that right now. It's not the good stuff, you know. But it'll get thinned out among the different crates over there. And this is what I got split so far. I was being lazy and I didn't start filling the wheelbarrows properly and I threw some stuff on the ground, but I just wanted to get some wood split here. And I did throw these back over here. So I'm going to finish off this section for this year pretty much. I might just finish off the rest of these crates. It is February. I've got less than a year to season the wood, but I'm throwing it all in there loosely. So I guess all the um, individual crates, I will just leave them as is. And then I'll just put some empties over top the second row so that it keeps those dry. And uh, like I said, I'm starting down there stacking the wood inside the crates. I'm going to be stacking it, not just throwing it in loose like this. I'm going to make the logs bigger so that I'm making less pieces so that it's more work when I'm loading and unloading and um, stacking because that wood's going to be for what almost two years away now, right? So it's let's say a year and nine months. When I come back tomorrow with the work truck, I've got to bring a bunch of cutoffs and some kindling that I put aside over there. And I gotta go see the heavy rescue 401 guy. I gotta load him up with some bags and cutoffs. And he actually wants some of that stuff because he's ran out. So he's really happy for that and he doesn't even care about, you know, what the wood is like. He just cares if it's dry and it burns. So he's buying all the cutoffs. I'm gonna give him a good deal on it, obviously, right? But I'm gonna go load him up again. So I gotta do that. And then I also gotta bring the few empty bags that I have at the shop for the um, smoker wood. And I gotta bag up the smoker wood that's in there and I gotta bring them over to the smokehouse tomorrow. So it's a bit of a busy day. It's supposed to be snowing. That's right. Forgot about the snowstorm. I wanna get all that done before it gets too bad out there, you know? I don't have to do too much driving. Just go north of the city a little bit. And then good to go from there. Okay, so I'm just finishing putting away these logs here. I just moved some of the apple here that's dry. I moved it over a crate. I start a 16 inch over here. Yeah, an old school friend called me for some wood. He said he needs one for his pool heater. I told him I don't have any, but I actually do have some. I told him about those cutoffs before I spoke to Mark at Heavy Rescue 401. Those are gonna be sold. So I'm gonna tell this guy I have this, but I don't have much. He said he wants to spend like 50 bucks. Not really much there that's like maybe 20 bucks worth of wood not even actually so i don't know he's probably got wood by now and i told him um you know by this time of year the wood's usually sold right so can't really help him in february that's the thing I tried to split this dry Norway maple with the axe, but it just wouldn't budge. I guess that's because it's on the drier side. Yeah, some nice big pieces of walnut. And this walnut dries pretty good too. So this is going to be fine for fall of 2024. Okay guys, nice and clean before the storm. Nothing to bug me while I'm not here, you know? 
So see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.